This is an XHW3002 temperature control module. These are very simple. They're easy to program. I will link these in the description in case you're interested. These are, at the, this moment, they're about five or six dollars a piece. Um, let me show you how to program these. So you hit this first button. It's not labeled anything, at least in English. It's got some kind of Chinese writing on it. You push this, and it says PO. Now, PO is the the temperature that you want this to turn on at. These are for heating only. They don't do keep cooling and heating, just heating. So it's the temperature that you want it to come on. So if you want it to come on at, say, 5, and, and then turn off at, say, 10 degrees, then you would set P0 to 5 and P1 to the 10 degrees. Now, there is also, there's P1 and P2. That's if you've got some type of a offset that you need to do on the temperature in case it's not reading properly. Say this says it's 10 degrees and you put a thermometer in there and it's actually 12 degrees, then you can offset the temperature a little bit. And then there's also P3, sorry, P3, and P3 is an on delay time. So what you can do with that is if this thing is kind of flipping on and off, on and off, because the temperature is hovering right around there, you can tell it to delay. So when it gets down to, say, that 5 degrees that you want it to come on, you can say, well, when it hits 5, wait a minute and then come on. So you could put you know, a time limit in there and you can do zero to 10 minutes in there. So now let me show you how to set the temperatures. So hit this, now I'm gonna set my lower temperature. So my lower temperature, this is the numbers to do that. I just push the down arrow and if you hold it, it'll go faster. I'm gonna set it to one and then I'm gonna go back to this and I wanna set the temperature that I want it to turn off. So I go to P1 and I'm gonna set that two, three. So I've got it coming on at one. And now I want it to go off at three. And then you just wait and it'll reset back. And now as you can see, P0 is set to one. And P1 is set to three. And that's all there is to programming these. Hope this was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.